So I am the laziest prick you've ever met, and I hate doing anything that requires any work. On a recent stream of mine, the chat decided to teach me how to two-tick woodcutting, and I figured out a very simple way to do it, so I thought, hey, fucking, I'll fucking teach you guys, and you guys can do some fucking two-ticking. So what you're gonna need is you're gonna need either Monkey Madness 2 for Apatol without an ape... Uh, stick. The items you'll need are a bow without arrows and any spell that doesn't do it damage. I recommend a curse with body runes, water runes, and earth runes. To do this, it's very simple. You're gonna want to find these little fucking birds. This thing, this little fucking bird here. Can you tell this is not scripted? So you grab two birds and with these two bloody birds, you're gonna want them to hit you. So it goes hit splat, wait, hit splat. And this is genuinely what people find the hardest part. So the trick that I figured out is if you walk under the bird, that should separate them. It didn't. <laughs> See, now they're separated into two. So what you want to do here is I like to use these little two trees. But what I'll do is I'll make it so one of them are attacking me and the other one's safe spot. Now, if I step out in front of the view of the second bird right on the blue hit splat, it'll mean that they hit me in sync. So watch this. So if I go... I fucked it. <laughs> so if I step right on the blue and not earlier this time... Beep. There you go, see, and now they'll hit perfectly in sync. So now what you want to do is make sure both birds are in line with the gap because you don't want to make them stuck on the outside of the tree and make you do it all again because that happens a lot and it's fucking annoying. But basically, that is all you need to do with the birds. Now, if you have a rune light, I highly recommend turning on the metronome. So this metronome is beating at exactly a tick, which is 0.6 seconds. So now what you're going to want to do is you click on the floor and right when a hit splat happens, you're going to want to click the tree. So beam, beam, and then you keep going back from the floor and the tree. And you'll know you've got it because your character will turn like my character's doing here. So you start on the floor, right on the blue tick, you click on the tree. Boop, boop, boop. Yeah, if you're feeling super fancy, rather than clicking the floor, you can drop the teak log. I don't know, if you're clicking on a title called Lazy Skiller, I don't think you're that fucking fancy. See, like that, but the tree keeps dying and I can't prove my point. <laughs> Yeah, and this is essentially all you need to do. It's it's super fucking easy. When I heard tick manipulation, I thought it was the hardest fucking thing in the world. But it's literally just clicking on a beat. And if I can do it consistently, then anyone at home watching can do it consistently too. The XP rates are around 180k if you do it consistently. You essentially get double the XP for doing not a lot of work. The hardest part is finagling the birds and starting. And it's just, the, the thing to do is always click on the hit splat. Yeah, so have fun. Good luck with your XP hours. XP, XP rates. I'm... I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs>